Kino and Sonya had fought before. Although Kino was humiliated by his defeat at her hands so many years ago, this time the outcome would be different. Kino had stolen Quan Chi's amulet at the request of Shang Tsung. With the amulet in his possession, Kano came to the realization that he was now in total control of the revived undefeatable army. Rather than hand the amulet and the army over to Shang Tsung, Kano kept them for himself and used the army to ambush Sonya, ending their long rivalry once and for all. For months, the Red Dragon had kept Kano hidden in their mountain stronghold. An unwilling test subject for a new process designed to transform humans into dragons. Kano escaped, however, before they could finish. Infused with godlike energy from Blaze, the process was rejuvenated. Kano was transformed into a Black Dragon-Human hybrid. Though the combat rage completely disappeared once Dark Khan was defeated, it drove Kano irreversibly mad. Turning on friend and foe alike, he became an outcast. Kano's appearance changed as well. He has painted his face to further express his seething anger. Alone in the depths of insanity, Kano endlessly repeats, Death to Shang Tsung. Death to Shang Tsung. Death to Shang Tsung. Kano made a fortune selling arms to Shao Kahn and used the profits to upgrade his cybernetics. The added connectivity of his eye implant gave him unparalleled access to global communications. Using his mind, he navigated the databases of banks, law enforcement agencies, and other networks. But his activities left him vulnerable to hackers. Jax infiltrated Kano's mind and trapped his consciousness in the Special Forces mainframe. It wasn't long, however, until Kano managed to free himself. His consciousness spread like a virus throughout the Special Forces network of automated weaponry. Kano has become a one-man army. Kano had always been a survivor, but even he would one day succumb to fate. His ideals of ruthless terror would die with him, unless he could pass on his methods to a new generation. Combat, weapons, high-tech sabotage, torture, all would be part of the curriculum. But before his students could learn his techniques, Kano would beat the weakness out of them. They would understand or die trying. Kano's first pupil? His own son. Class was now in session. I'd cut a lot of deals, but none spiffier than this. I spared Kronika, and she gave up the hourglass. The power to shape time and history to my liking? Oh, fuck yeah. I set it up so that everything came up aces. Every desire, every wish, every whim I ever had, done and done. But I realized pretty quick I'd suck the fun out of things. Without a fight, winning was worthless. Nah, the fun wasn't in the having. It was in the getting. So, I changed things up, one more time. 
Now what I want is always just out of reach. I gotta earn it. I score lots of wins, but not always. And when I do win, oh, it's something to savor. 